G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Sweet Creature by Harry Styles, which is a beautiful finger-picked song. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Now for the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar in a standard tuning and you'll need no capo. So let's jump into the lesson. Right, so for our finger picking basics, in general, your thumb will take care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings, your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings respectively. There will be a couple of parts in this song where we can take the index finger up to the 4th string, but I'll get to those later. So let's start with the intro, and we're going to start based around the G chord. Now there's only one note that you need to fret though, and that's the 3rd fret of the 6th string. Now you can play this with any of your fingers, but I'm just going to use the index finger here. Now for this finger picking pattern on this G chord shape, we're going to pinch the sixth and second strings together. And then we have a run of five notes, which goes bass note, fourth string with your index finger. So that's where you can take your index finger up to another string. Back to bass note, second string and back to bass note. So that run of five notes. And in total. And then we're going to go to this C kind of shape. So index on the third fret of the fifth string, pinky on the fifth fret of the second string. Make sure you keep your index lifted though so you, the third yeah. string can ring out. We're going to pinch the second and fifth string together and then pluck the open third yeah. string. Then we'll shift this shape down so we're now on third and second frets like that and we're going to do the exact same picking pattern. So the first two bars in total. Now those two bars are repeated through three times and then we end with the G shape just played for two picking patterns. And that's it for the intro which sounds like this all together. Then we get to the verse which has two lines of tab. Our first two bars are the same as the intro. And then we go to the G for two picking patterns. And then we're going to go to this E minor sort of shape here. So index finger on the seventh fret of the fifth, pinky finger on the eighth fret of the second string. Now we're going to play this for one picking pattern. Now the picking pattern is similar to what we have in the G. So we'll start with the pinch, so fifth and second strings, and then we have a run of five notes. So bass note, third, bass note, second, bass note. So that's the rhythm anyway. Then we're going to shift down to this D sort of shape. Now it's the same as the C that we had before, but up two frets. And we're gonna play this for the same picking pattern that we had for the E minor. Then we go down to the C, play this for a picking pattern. And then we go back to our G for our regular picking pattern. So that second line of tab. And then total for the verse. Next we get to the pre-chorus, which just has two lines of tab. We're going to start with an A minor chord shape, 
and we're going to play this for one picking pattern. It's similar to the other shapes that we had where the bass note was on the fifth string. So we start with the pinch on the fifth and second string, and then bass note, third, bass note, second, bass note. For our second bar, we stay on this shape, but our first pinch is actually going to be the fifth and first string, and everything else is the same. And the first two bars, Then we go to an E minor shape and we're going to be doing two picking patterns here. So the picking pattern is sixth and second string. Sixth, third, sixth, second, sixth. We do that twice. And then we go to our G shape and we play that for two picking patterns. And then we go to a D sus2. For the first bar of this D sus2, we're going to pinch the fourth and second string. And then we have five notes, so fourth, third, fourth, second, fourth. For the final bar, we're going to pinch the fourth and first strings. And then our run of five notes is a little different, so fourth, second, fourth, third, fourth. And the D sus2 in total. So that's it for the two lines of the pre-chorus, which sounds like this. Now that's actually played through twice, but the second time round, we're not playing any picking patterns on this D sus2. You're just pinching the fourth, third, and second strings together and holding them out until the chorus. Next, let's get to the chorus, and there's two parts to this chorus. Chorus part one has three lines of tab. We're going to start with those two bars that we had in the intro. So the G, C, G slash B, and we play those two bars through three times. For the final bar, the second line of tab, we're gonna play an A minor seven, pinch the fifth and second strings, hit the open third string, and then go to a G shape. I like to play this with my ring finger here. Pinch the sixth and second strings, and the open third string, so. And then we go to a D seven chord shape. Now, we're gonna play this with four picking patterns. So the picking pattern here is the first and fourth string together. And then fourth, third, fourth, second, fourth. Four times. So in total for chorus part one, it will sound like this. Now chorus part two is very similar in terms of structure with a few variations. So the first variation is when we get to the A minor seven, we're no longer just doing two plucks on it, we're actually playing a full picking pattern here. So we start with a pinch, so the fifth and second strings, and fifth, third, fifth, second, fifth. Then we go to our G shape for one picking pattern. And then we go to our D7 for two picking patterns and then the third time we just end on the pinch. So those are the only variations to chorus part two, which sounds like this in total. Then after the first chorus, there's a short break and it's really simple. It's just the second line of tab of the intro, which sounds like this. So 
So next we get to the bridge, and this is one of the most fun parts in the song to play. Now there's two lines of tab here. Now we're gonna start with the G major seven sort of shape. So it's our index finger on the third fret of the sixth string, but we're going to start by pinching the sixth and fourth strings together. So thumb and index finger together here. On that first pinch, you're actually gonna hammer your ring finger onto the fourth fret of the fourth string, like that. After that hammer on, we have a five note run. So it's bass note, third string, bass note, fourth string, bass note. So you constantly alternate between your thumb and index finger here. Then for the second bar, we pinch the sixth and second strings together. And then with your thumb, come and hit the fourth string. And then we're going to pinch the sixth and third strings together. And with your thumb, come back to the fourth string. So that bar. The third bar is identical to the first bar, so. And then the final bar is a pinch of the sixth and second strings and three more plucks on the bass note. And then total for the first line of tab. first line of tab is played through twice and it's actually played quite fast as well at full speed it would sound more like this for the second line of tab we do the exact same thing except you're no longer holding down the third fret of the sixth string all the notes you pluck are exactly the same it's just the open sixth string now but you're still doing that hammer on with your ring finger. So the second line of tab sounds like this. And that second line of tab is played through twice as well. So that's it for the bridge. Now, after the final chorus, there's a final chorus tag. There's two lines of tab here. We start with the G for a picking pattern. Then the now C shape, G slash B, A minor seven, G, and then the D seven for two picking patterns. And then a pinch in the fourth and first strings. And that's the chorus tag, which sounds like this all together. And the outro is just the same as the first line of the bridge. So nothing new to learn there. So now I'll be playing through the song in its entirety and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice playing along to and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.